Hi, and welcome to the Australian Steel Institute Steel Excellence Awards for 2020. Although times have been challenging, it's exciting to provide a program to celebrate excellence in design, fabrication and construction of projects for the Australian community. Firstly, I'd like to recognise the founding members of the Australian Steel Institute, Bluescope, Infrabuild and Stramit, whose support provides a platform for the Australian Steel Institute to service the steel industry in all of our endeavours. I would also like to thank the many sponsors of the Steel Excellence Awards program for 2020. As you would know, steel has many product attributes. It is strong, light, formable and reusable. Steel is used in many applications and there are continued innovations in the development of new grades to provide even greater benefits and use. The Australian steel supply chain prides itself in providing compliant products and solutions to ensure projects meet their intended design life. The ASI has created compliance solutions to assist engineers design with confidence, constructors to select certified fabricators to the Australian standards and surety and shed designs meeting the building code of Australia. It is also important to note the high level of safety which is achieved utilising the local industry. With sustainability in the spotlight, the intelligent design of structures has never been so important. Good design provides for the utilisation of responsibly sourced materials, efficient fabrication and erection, delivering completed buildings that meet the high requirements for energy efficiency. The projects that have been submitted to this awards program have been outstanding. Please join me in celebrating brilliant steel structures, enhancing our built environment. Thanks, Mark. The Steel Excellence Awards provides for several categories for projects to be entered. These include buildings large projects, buildings small projects, steel clad structures, engineering projects, and young designer, engineer, or tradesperson. I would like to acknowledge the sponsors for this awards program. Our major sponsors, Bluescope and Australian Super. Our distributor sponsors are Southern Steel, United Steel, Bluescope Distribution, Infrabuild, Orcon Steel, Vulcan. To commence our awards, I welcome a message from our major sponsor, Bluescope. For me, the Australian landscape is defined by its sense of space. And in that space, that vastness, there's a real feeling of freedom. So I'm looking for those places where I'm completely surrounded by the landscape. I'm inside of something. When that happens, it's, it's an incredibly powerful feeling. When I'm photographing a landscape, I'm basically organising space with the camera, responding to the textures. So it's much the same when I'm working with architecture. I'm responding to how the form sits within its environment. create something that works. That's the journey. Thanks, Bluescope. Okay, let's proceed to our first category. Buildings, large projects. The shortlisted entries for the buildings, large projects category are Armadale Aquatic Fitness Centre, this is essentially a steel structure incorporating exposed curvaceous steel rafters and featuring a colonnade of steel fabricated tree form columns. The major spans of the pool halls are broken using exposed RHS steel trusses. The curvilinear aesthetic of the tree form columns and the canopy formed by the large span curved roof would have been technically and economically unachievable without the structural and fabrication qualities provided by the use of steel.
Belmont Hub. The $45 million facility is a modern, multi-purpose, cross-generational building with flexible and adaptable spaces. It's a landmark building with a unique architectural style and facade treatment. Its structure is a combination of concrete and steel frame covered with contrasting facade elements in steel, which creates varied textures and angular, curved curtain walling. The glass observation lift in the centre of the building is a feature of the internal space and is supported by major structural steel elements. Henderson Expansion Facility The 53,000 square metre 18 storey high Ship Repair and Maintenance Hall is the largest undercover modularisation and maintenance facility in Australia. The Australian design codes did not cover a building of this size, so wind tunnel tests were conducted at James Cook University. Its massive size houses complete air warfare destroyers, frigates and patrol vessels for construction or sustainment. The 600 ton top hat roof structure was designed to be fully built on the ground prior to lifting into situ. The Amberton the 500 square metre foreshore precinct development in Eglinton includes a beachfront bar and kitchen, bathrooms and change rooms. Designed using lightweight steel framing and piers, the building is designed to facilitate relocation in the future should it be required. To achieve the brief, four modules were created, each being structurally independent, so it can be moved by crane and truck to a future fallback location on the foreshore should the site be affected by sea rise or dune erosion. Western Australian Museum The dramatic new design links contemporary architecture with the historic and heritage listed buildings, creating a visual landmark for the state. The gallery floors are supported on fabricated steel trusses located within walls and vary in depths between 7 and 15 metres. The trusses span up to 45 metres with a 17 metre cantilever over the existing buildings. The 3D model was federated with other disciplines to enable early identification of clashes and requirements for structural penetrations. The result is stunning. Yagan Square The square connects the CBD to the Northbridge Cultural Precinct using steel as the hero in its organic and striking design. The three-storey restaurant features an irregular steel facade and an illuminated steel-framed beacon to the north. To the south lies a geometrically complex market hall and a cantilevered steel trust restaurant. The buildings are linked by a suspended glass and caught and steel bridge. A 45-metre digital tower is formed with a cluster of steel tendrils representing native reeds. And now for the winning project for Buildings Large Projects for 2020. Western Australian Museum Pacific Industrial Company are in their 50th year of operation. This award isn't just recognition of the work that the Pacific Industrial team have done, it also highlights what WA and onshore fabrication can do using Australian sourced steel to create truly iconic architecture, something that everybody in WA can be proud of. Now congratulations to Western Australian Museum. And now for a message from our other major sponsor, Australian Super. It's Australian to be there for one another through the ups and the downs. It's super to know that Australia's largest super fund is investing for you like no other fund can. It's yours, your money for your future with Australian Super by your side, now and for the long run. It's Australian, it's Super, and it's yours. The next category is 
Building small projects. The shortlisted entries for the Building Small Projects category are Kalbarri National Park Skywalk Amenities. The infrastructure consists of toilet amenities, shade structures, a kiosk and interpretive artworks. A critical aspect was for the project to look like it should be there and harmonise with the natural landscape with minimal ongoing maintenance. Custom formed ribbed roofs and wall sheetings wrap the buildings, providing dramatic forms which change with the light of the day. Structural elevations, box beams, T-beams and posts were designed in weathering steel and offcuts were then utilised in the creation of the artworks. St Francis Chapel and Pavilion Beautiful architecture resulted in a respectful and spiritual place for families to reflect. The strength and fluidity of steel made it a natural, structural and aesthetic choice for the chapel roof and steel joinery, the pavilion and entry canopy and other bespoke elements. Using steel allowed us to lighten the structure, maximising the ingress of natural light through minimalist and delicately crafted steel frames, which results in an uplifting space. The successful delivery of this stunning project reflects the project team's commitment to collaboration. Sterling Street Art Centre The design sought to complement the existing buildings while presenting itself as an iconic form within the highly visible public space. A custom perforated metal screen sits atop a modest building of red brick, black steel and glass. The feature steel screen is supported by an exposed robust frame of black steel while internally the grid of steel sits exposed within the multi-purpose spaces. The design created a playful twist, with the side elevation presenting distorted triangles through the opposing pitched scullion roofs. Whitford's Nodes Fitness Staircase The structure conceived by local residents was designed to become the Jacob's Ladder of the North, a direct challenge to the namesake located in Perth's Kings Park. Major concerns on impact to the dunes and protected Tuart trees required innovative techniques to reduce the site footprint. These constraints required detailed weight calculations to determine the module sizes which could be safely lifted by the crane. The resulting design stipulated 575 fabricated components with over 5,500 bolts. Woodlands Cultural, Community and Visitors Centre this major addition to the original building consisted of a curved canopy and extension to the main building to increase the size. This required steelwork consisting of curved trusses, fascias and purlins, with the main feature being the four water tree canopy columns. All exposed steel was a mixture of hot dipped galvanised or inorganic zinc silicate, providing long term corrosion protection. The use of steel provides for minimal ongoing maintenance as opposed to utilising other building systems. The judges awarded a high commendation in this category. The high commendation is awarded to... St Francis Chapel and Pavilion. Our congratulations to St Francis Chapel and Pavilion. And now for the winning project for building small projects for 2020. Kalbarri National Park Skywalk Amenities. Thank you to the Steel Institute and uh, thank you to everyone that's been involved in this project. We first stood on the edge of the gorge and discussed the project and what opportunities there might be to create a landmark tourism attraction for the region. The use of steel and more particularly the weathering steel was a decision made very early in the piece for the colouring and the tones of the steel and the way it was going to sit in the environment. The feedback since completion has been fantastic. Uh, we would like to especially thank the project team involved, in particular the client, the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions and their Landscape Department. 
project was built over two stages. Uh, first stage being the skywalk structures. Uh, the second stage of the project was the infrastructure and all the associated buildings with this, and that was built by Jordan Building Services and Cabinets, and uh, with their steel fabricators in Sheet Metal Co. Jordan. We'd also like to thank uh, the members of the Eastman Paletti Sherwood Architects team, and uh, most certainly the structural engineers, Turkish Engineering. We look forward to uh, the future success of the project. Congratulations, Kalbari National Park Skywalk Amenities. Our next category is Steel Clad Structures. The shortlisted entries for the Steel Clad Structures category are Henderson Expansion Facility. This facility is one of a kind in size and is built to accommodate large naval vessels which would otherwise be located outside on hard stand. Given the location, it retains some nautical feel with the introduction of whites, blues and grey claddings. Many of the roof sections were assembled on the ground, including the fixing of roof purlins and safety mesh and were then lifted into place and fixed. Safety in design influenced the decision to assemble the top hat section in its entirety on the ground and then hydraulically lifting the entire assembly into place. Yagen Square Set across one hectare, this landmark piece of cultural and civic infrastructure has reinvigorated Perth CBD. The design team devised a facade which communicates the cultural story through the use of locally fabricated caught and steel cladding. The incredibly complex non-typical facade included angular, uncommon shapes and integrated materials to represent a rock outcrop which resulted in a complex arrangement of substructure which could only be achieved efficiently with the use of structural steel. And now for the winning project for steel clad structures for 2020. Yagen Square. Yagen Square has created a link between the Northbridge Cultural Precinct and the Perth CBD for the first time in over 100 years. It also incorporates significant Indigenous imagery into the building design and through the selection of local materials in the building facade. We're really proud of the impact this project has had on the local community and in particular the positive reception received to date. The complex geometry of the building and in particular the facade meant that nothing was standard in the design. And this presented many challenges to us as a design team, but also the fabrication teams. But the use of steel in the building framing and cladding meant that we had the flexibility we needed to overcome these challenges. The design team worked closely with the contractor, shop detailers and fabricators throughout construction to communicate the complex steel requirements for this project. And this collaborative approach ensured that we could make the complex simple and avoid potential issues on site. The use of Corten steel in the building cladding gives a colour and a texture that just can't be replicated with other materials. It's also a dynamic material that will continue to change and improve over time. On behalf of Oricon and the entire Yagen Square project team, we're really proud to have received this award. It's a reflection of the creativity and hard work of many, many people over a long period of time. And our thanks and congratulations go out to everyone involved on the project. Well done, Yagen Square, congratulations. Now we have a message from the sponsor of the engineering projects for 2020, Bizaloy Steels. We move it with pride. We build it with you in mind. We protect what's most valuable. And we shield those who defend us. It's our business. Australian made steel for over 40 years. Isaloy. Our next category is Engineering Projects. 
The shortlisted entries for the Engineering Projects category are Henderson Expansion Facility At 18 storeys, the purpose-built ship and module repair and maintenance hall is the largest undercover facility in Australia. It boasts significant crane capacity of 400 tonnes at a height of 38 metres and 20 tonnes at a height of 70 metres. The main hall is 206 metres long and 70 metres high. The door clearance in this centre bay is 42 metres wide and exceeds 60 metres in height. Steel members were barcoded during fabrication to allow for ultimate tracking of all elements. Kalbari Skywalk This exciting project consists of two cantilevered A-frame walkways extending 19 and 28 metres respectively out beyond the gorge edge. Joists, which are supported on continuous weathering steel box beams, are intended to blend into and complement the natural colours of the gorge. The box beams extend out via fully engaged sleeve plates from concrete beams cut into the rock face with 10 metre deep post tension rock anchors. Steel allowed the structures to be designed as segments which could be prefabricated and installed safely. The judges awarded a high commendation in this category. The high commendation is awarded to Kalbari Skywalk. Our congratulations to Kalbari Skywalk. Now we have our winning project for engineering projects for 2020. Henderson Expansion Facility. Thanks to the Australian Steel Institute for this fantastic award underneath the Engineering and Infrastructure Group for the uh, build of our uh, fabrication and assembly facility located in Henderson, Western Australia. The assembly hall is 53,000 square metres of usable floor space with uh, 22,000 cubic metres of concrete, 3,000 tonnes of reinforcing steel and 6,000 tonnes of steelwork to build this 70 metre high facility which has a lifting capacity of over 400 tonnes and it's purpose built for modularization, which you can, has multi-level floors which you can access the modules on. We're very proud of this, which we worked with GHD as the designer and we self-performed the majority of the build. But thanks again to the Australian Steel Institute for this fantastic board. Congratulations, Henderson Expansion Facility Project. Okay, so that wraps up the Steel Excellence Awards for Western Australia for 2020. Congratulations to all the high commendations and winners. Remember, the winning projects will be vying against the other states for national honours. Thank you for joining us.